Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Days after tech giants Facebook, Twitter, and Google were grilled on alleged Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. election, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has suggested using the companies to attack other nations. On Tuesday, <clears throat> senior executives from the trio of major tech firms went before the U.S. Congress to discuss an alleged disinformation campaign supposedly designed to influence the election. Republican Senator Mitch McConnell has since suggested that social media and other internet services could provide the U.S. with an opportunity to, quote, retaliate, close quote, against adversaries such as Russia. Now, speaking to MSNBC, uh, McConnell expressed his disappointment that key figures like Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey and Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg had not provided answers at Tuesday's hearing. He then mooted the idea of weaponizing their services. Big tech could be used, he said, to retaliate against Russia, whose government has repeatedly denied any allegations of attempts to influence U.S. voters. Folks, I'm hoping I can, uh, I feel like I'm losing my voice here. Hopefully I won't, but um, despicable. That man right there is despicable. So maybe he could use social media or advise social media to attack Americans. We could use social media to retaliate against Americans also who disagree with us, right? Hey, maybe they're already doing that. Um, Silicon Valley, I don't trust them. I, I trust this guy right here about as much as I would trust Castro. Unfortunately, that's the way I feel about this. This is deep, deep state con uh, controlled stuff suits talking about using social media to retaliate against Russia. Um, you know, I, I am no supporter of Russia. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not supporting Russia. Russia is one powerful nation. The United States of America is another powerful nation. They are, they are headed for some manner of war. This is war already. We are in World War III. This is, the, this is the cyber technological end of World War III. And that man right there has, has just got a wonderful notion, doesn't he? Just makes me ill. Makes me very ill, folks. The um, way we keep trumping up this, uh, this meddling in elections, uh, it's, because, it's because, now again, I'm also no, <laughs> I'm not for or against Donald Trump either. You folks have to understand, I, I almost feel like I don't even live on this damn planet. I'm just a, 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 an observer looking at this whole thing, trying to warn you to be careful. But um, they didn't get the candidate they wanted. The, the, uh, the powers that be installed somebody else, and now they're angry. So now we have the Russian issue. We're doing whatever we can to discredit the election, which really was more of a selection and not an election. And um, just like it was prior to Trump and prior to Bush, this is, to me, this this just, um, I don't even want to say, because it would be profane, and I try not to be profane. This this frosts me. Anyway, folks, maybe I'm making too much of this. I don't know. Check out the link to my latest fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. America is fighting a supernatural battle, and what I just explained to you is part of this supernatural battle. This is this is satanic, what we're seeing right now. Uh, this is fiction that, that is so true to life, folks. If you're a follower of world events, you ought to check this book out. This is America right now. More of what you don't see going on than what you do. And you can read chapter one for free. It's called Fake News. That is also linked below. You can get this book here in Kindle. Kindle Unlimited if you have that program and paperback. Very inexpensive, folks. Uh, check it out. Also check out the link to my uh, music below. I've got to try to get my voice back here. Uh, subscribe to my channel, folks. If you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led. And most importantly, I've got to say this. Do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.